Hey, good afternoon, everybody. So my name is Chad Morrill. I'm the owner of California Waterscapes. We are a company that builds waterfalls, natural koi ponds, natural pools all over Southern California. This vlog is gonna be all about natural pools. We have a few natural pools that are actually under construction right now. We're gonna show you the process of uh, designing those, excavating them, laying the liner, all the filtration that you're gonna need for these pools. It should be pretty interesting. You get to see uh, ponds from muddy, flat backyards turn into uh, their own beach oasis. So let's go check it out. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of this dirt out of here today. We got some pipes and things to fix from the irrigation down below, but we're gonna have actually a big, beautiful beach on that side. We're gonna have a dock going over the top. We're gonna have some stairs going down. Have a killer little wetland waterfall coming down here, wetland filter. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button already and follow along and you can watch these guys do their thing and get really muddy. All right, let's go. now there's going to be a dock that actually cantilevers over the water so you'll be able to jump from the dock into the seven foot deep area over here at the bottom of the wreck pond. So I'm in this 15 by 15 foot area. This is outside the pond. So this is all gonna stay dry, the sand. Right here, you can see where the liner is. Right here, we have our bead of liner. So this is what we call our dirt level. So all the way along this pond, that dirt level goes all the way around. We have this bead of liner. It's not just liner that sticks up and cut or liner that's folded over. We actually bring our liner up and we fold it back down. So that way, down the road, we can make adjustments. We need to pull liner up pull it up or put it down we can do that but we use we call this the bead of liner and we keep this visible most of the job where we can then when we fill this pond with water we can go by and check our bead of liner all the way around and it should be nice and dry on the outside of the pond and obviously this is going to get saturated from the inside of the pond so so that's how we transition from our sandy area on the outside of the pond that's dry to our wet kind of starting to get mushy sand that's going to be in the pond and submerging just like when you go to a beach you step in the wet area it's in your feet are going to sink into the sand All right, awesome. As you can see, these guys have this project well under control right here without me. So that gives us a chance. Let's go around LA. Let's check out a couple natural pools that actually have water in them and see how they look. All right. Hi, I'm great. How you doing? I was going to get some video of the pond. Is that okay? Awesome. Thank you. All right, so just getting here to this pond right now, a couple things that I really love right off the bat is you can see the homeowners are starting to do some planting and they got their little bench set up over there where they have their Armenian coffee and they are already enjoying this space where this was just dead space back here now. Now it's like the life of the backyard. 25 by 20 pond, so it's gonna go right here. All 
All right, so this place looks awesome. It sounds amazing. When we first got here, they were not even under construction with the walls around the property. So we let them get that done. But one key aspect of these waterfalls is being able to come in and build them, make them look like they've been here for a million years and everything was kind of built around that. So being able to come in at this stage of the project was really beneficial for us because we could bring in big boulders and kind of get creative with the space. Let's go see another one I haven't seen running for a couple months. Uh, the last time I, I was there was kind of dark and gloomy, so we're gonna go there right now. It's kind of a nice sunny day, and we'll see how this one is. It's up in Beverly Hills, and it's a different color rock and a different vibe, so let's go check that one out. Awesome, it's the organic type sand we use. They use for uh, different applications, but you can see uh, the dog's been getting in there. You can see all the little claw marks and it stays put, so that's really cool. Wow, look at the gravel on the bottom. It's just crystal clear. There's no debris on there. You can see the jets are doing their thing. You're getting nice flow, pushing everything away from the beach area there. And I just love how the boardwalk came out came out so killer here we are at the deep area this is about six feet deep right here got some big massive rocks in there just some unbelievable looking waterfalls happening just looks incredible here there's a big wetland down in this area have some external pumps up there Beautiful, beautiful. So it's a very busy morning here at the yard. The crew down at the rec pond in Fullerton really need some more rocks. So we're loading up this Super 10 with a full 17 tons of some larger size boulders. Rafa's picking them out right now and loading them up. Let's go take a look at what they look like. Oh yeah, beautiful. You can see some nice big fat ones over there. So these old really help building those vertical walls. So that should get the crew through uh, the rest of the day or so. It's going fast, they're out there strapping and setting those rocks. See it's dried up nicely around here. <laughs> Good, wow, oh, wow, look at this. Where are we at today? We're gonna finish rocking in right here. I'll get two of them started digging out my welding filter to get the aqua box in. Okay. Um, and then can you rock me in? Very nice. They're finishing the last couple stages of rocking around the outside of the pond. So this is a very critical point because we want to make sure all the exterior rocks that are visible around the outside are really set right because those are very visible. 10% of the rocks really stand out the most that are outside the, the whole pond. And everything made it through the rain really good. Yeah. 
All right, so we are back here with the llama and the little mini horses and the pigs and stuff here in Fullerton, California to check out this natural pool. Apparently the guy's got it filled with water. I'm dying to see it. I haven't seen it, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's our natural pools vlog. We've gone all over Beverly Hills and Northridge and back here to Fullerton. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can see not only this project going to the ground, but other projects just like it. All right, let's go check it out. I'm dying to see it. I can hear it. I can start to see it. It's like Cabo down there. Holy cow. Sometimes I get to these jobs and they're even way better than I anticipated. This is definitely one of them. This place is incredible. big inviting area. You know how I love when I see chairs at our projects when we just finished the project and there's already a chair right there. Homeowners enjoying it. That's a good sign. So inviting. I just want to jump in that deep end there. So this is going to be kind of a raised platform area that's going to go out to this dock that's out here. That's going to be really cool. We put a couple concrete piers into the water. Those look really good and pro. And then you got this beach over here, which is just incredible. It's kind of the, the centerpiece of this whole pond is that beach area over there. I don't see any debris on top of this pond. That means the intake bay is working really well. We'll go down there and check it out. This waterfall and the screen here is really natural looking. I'm really impressed with what the guys did with that. The crew, each time they do another one of these projects, I swear they get more and more natural looking. Wetland filter up there at the start of the waterfall. That's the way we keep this pond crystal clear. And that's really the nuts and bolts of this biological filtration. The wetland filter that's up there, that's where all the beneficial bacteria is gonna colonize. All right, cool, so we're down here at the, basically the heart of the pond. This is the intake bay here. So we have three external pumps out there that are pulling water into this, really this little cove here. And we kind of bring it down and choke it down like this. It's only about eight inches deep of water here. So that way it skims the top sheet of water and brings all this debris like these leaves and brings it into this little cove. We're gonna fill this in with plants around here to kind of hide this, but this is the best way to set up your pumps for any natural pool is doing an intake bay if you have the space, that's for sure. All right, just incredible out here at Fullerton. I mean, literally, we're out here vlogging, but we're enjoying this space. It's hard to leave. It is really tranquil and beautiful. The water's just almost mesmerizing looking down in there. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this vlog all about natural pools as well. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can see us do other projects, not only natural pools, but koi ponds and waterfalls all around LA. Until next time, have a good one. See ya. Thank you.